Palazzo Gradenigo on the Rio Marin, off Venice's Grand Canal. This 17th century palace was built by the Gradenigos, one of the founding families of the Venetian Republic. Today, the palazzo is home to Toto Bergamo Rossi, an art restorer who's also head of the Venetian Heritage Foundation. He spent a decade returning the rundown palace to its former glory. The philosophies try to be a step behind the building. The building is not me. Uh, it's mine only for a few years. It's not mine forever. And it was built from another architect, from another family. And uh, so my responsibility is just to keep everything together, but without leave an evident trace of my work. His private quarters are located on the first floor. Here he has 320 square meters of floor space all to himself, including two parlors. The first boasts a grand history. This room was redecorated for, for the visit of Napoleon in 1807. So they have redone the ceiling. So it's a fresco, neoclassic style, um, but unfortunately it was all repainting brown. The original fresco was hidden under three layers of paint and embellishments. It was something like, uh, I give you the image about a, a, a person that has something in front of the month and cannot talk. And so I was able to take that kind of things out of a month. And now the house can talk by themselves. The second parlor is also dominated by an imposing ceiling fresco. The goddess Flora smiles down on the man who gave her a new lease on life. Every day I, when I'm in, in my sofa and, and I watch the ceiling and I say, well, I'm, I'm lucky, thank you. And I talk with them sometimes, you know, they're very generous with me. The palazzo's furniture is a mix of styles from various centuries. Bergamo Rossi decided to put his own favorite items on show here without trying to replicate the decor of previous residents. They change every 50 years normally. They change furniture, they change styles. So I think you have to make a compromise. You put furniture or, or books or, or chairs and paintings, but they're movable. They're not part of the bones. So if I'm going to move tomorrow, I just take it out my furniture and a house could belong to somebody else in one second without a trace of my ego. <laughs> the bedroom still has a 17th century look. Bergamo Rossi only modernized one part of the palace. He put in partitions to transform one huge salon into a hallway and three smaller rooms. So I decided to make like a a door, and that door goes to the, to the little bathroom. The bathroom is modest. And beside it, there's a small kitchen. The guest room is a bit more spacious. The restorer knows his fair share of artists. Hollywood stars often stay at his palazzo during the Venice Film Festival. Nicole Kidman apparently loved falling asleep below this Rococo stucco work. It's nice to show them another Venice, another one of Pigeons and San Marco Squares. So I think people from Foreigner, they love that kind of experience to see that, you know, you use your house, even if it's a historical place, as a normal place and without paparazzi. The Palazzo Gradenigo is an impressive historical building, but also very much part of Venice's living heritage today. <laughs>